Galvanic Applied Sciences 903 Analyzer Maintenance Video Cleaning the Sample Chamber We recommend cleaning the sample chamber every 6 months. The sensor LED current alarm and or sensor calibration alarm are also indicators that it's time to clean the sample chamber. Before doing any maintenance, take the handheld keypad for the 903 analyzer. Press bypass to prevent any alarms from engaging. You will know bypass is activated when you see the flashing orange light below the display. When maintenance is complete, press bypass again, the orange light will stop flashing. For total sulfur units, sample flows must be turned off first, followed by hydrogen. Remove the dust cover. To remove the sample chamber, disconnect the tubing that flows to the humidifier. Remove the dust cover from the sensor. Disconnect the wires from the sensor. There are two sets. To remove pinch open the locking mechanism and gently wiggle free. Remove the two screws on the side. Remove the sample chamber from the analyzer. At this point, it's best to place it on a workbench. Loosen the screws on the retaining clips so you can turn the clips 90 degrees and remove the sensor. To release the components, turn the sample chamber over and with a blunt object, push out the aperture strip assembly. There are three components to the aperture strip assembly, rear window, gasket, and aperture strip. It is recommended to have a spare gasket in case it tears. To clean the sample chamber, rinse with isopropyl alcohol and wipe clean with q-tip or paper towel. To clean the components, you may use water, soap, or isopropyl alcohol. Do not use acetone. If components are discolored, they should be replaced. Make sure the flow path of gas is free and clear. Use compressed air to make sure no dust has built up in the flow chambers. To put the sample chamber back together, insert the aperture strip first. Use silicone grease to ensure the aperture strip stays in place. Press it down into the chamber for a seal so gas can't get behind the aperture. The gasket sits in the channel. The rear window goes on top. Reinstall the sensor assembly. Make sure the clips are pointing in the opposite direction so they will turn and engage the sensor. Once they are engaged, tighten the screws. Screw on the sample chamber to the chassis, ensuring the compression head lines up with the sample chamber and reconnect all the wires and tubings. Replace the covers. Turn on the hydrogen, followed by the sample flow. The procedure is now finished. For further questions, please contact Galvanic Applied Sciences.